Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, is Jupiter a failed star? Or is it simply just a very large gas giant of a planet? We can consider Jupiter to look somewhat like a failed star, because it actually has a chemical composition that is very similar to our Sun. Jupiter is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, with only a small amount of fraction of heavier elements. It also means that if Jupiter was heavier, it could undergo fusion, and therefore radiate its own light and heat, basically becoming a star. However, Jupiter is just too light, and not massive enough. Its central temperature is not high enough for hydrogen to fuse into helium. The fact that Jupiter has the same composition as the Sun actually tells us something interesting to how the planet actually formed. Taking this into consideration, it must have formed at the same time as the Sun, out of the same cloud of gas. However, this brings a key difference between stars and planets. When a star forms, the whole of the gas cloud collapses. As this cloud starts to collapse, it starts to spin even faster, and therefore, some of the material can't quite fall all the way down into the star. This material instead becomes a disk that orbits around the star, and from this, the planets can be created. The problem is with Jupiter is it actually was created from this formation disk, rather than just a collapsing cloud of gas and dust. So therefore, you can define Jupiter more as a planet than a star. But of course, Jupiter does have the same type of composition as a star. The thing is, Jupiter could be something a little bit different, not quite a star, but maybe not quite a planet. We see many objects around the Milky Way that are very similar to Jupiter. They seem to have the same type of composition, and they seem to be around about the same mass. These mysterious objects are also known as brown dwarfs. I've actually covered brown dwarfs in a previous video, so I'll link that in the description below. These objects seem to be quite amazing, because they seem to be in the same bracket as a star, but they can have the mass of the size of Jupiter, and therefore the characteristics can somewhat change. These types of objects would look completely identical to Jupiter. These brown dwarfs or similar objects like hot Jupiters or just big gas giants in solar systems pretty much look all the same, but perhaps they should be regarded as starlight objects, and not like planet-like objects. This of course causes a lot of arguments among astronomers, because we don't know which term to use. Are they star-like objects? or are they planet-like objects? We are still basically figuring out how to define the word planet. At the moment, the definition of a planet is loosely referred to as any object that is less than some critical mass. This basically means that it's pretty much any object that cannot produce nuclear fusion. But the more and more astronomers seem to learn about them, the more that we can define the universe that we live in. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into is Jupiter a failed star? As a matter of fact, is Jupiter a kind of failed brown dwarf as well? Hmm, interesting. Might do another video on that one. But if you want to know any more about brown dwarfs or stars in general, I'll put some links in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.